Hello again, and welcome to Section 2 Biology Variation. Here are the learning objectives. Make sure to spend some time during your study going over them. Natural selection can only take place if there is variation or differences among individuals in a population. Importantly, these differences must have some genetic basis, otherwise, selection will not lead to change in the next generation. This is critical because variation among individuals can be caused by non-genetic reasons such as an individual being taller because of better nutrition rather than different genes. Genetic diversity in a population comes from two main sources, mutation and sexual reproduction. Mutation, a change in DNA, is the ultimate source of new alleles or new genetic variation in any population. An individual that has a mutated gene might have a different trait than other individuals in the population. However, this is not always the case. A mutation can have one of three outcomes on the organism's appearance or phenotype. A mutation may affect the phenotype of the organism in a way that gives it reduced fitness, lower likelihood of survival, resulting in fewer offspring. A mutation may produce a phenotype with a beneficial effect on fitness. Many mutations, called neutral mutations, will have no effect on fitness. Recall that a gene for a particular character may have several variants, or alleles, that code for different traits associated with that character. For example, in the able blood type system in humans, three alleles determine the particular blood type protein on the surface of red blood cells. Each individual in a population of diploid organisms can only carry two alleles for a particular gene, but more than two may be present in the individuals that make up the population. Mendel followed alleles as they were inherited from parent to offspring. In the early 20th century, biologists began to study what happens to all the alleles in a population in a field of study known as population genetics highly beneficial alleles may, over a very few generations, become fixed in this way, meaning that every individual of the population will carry the allele. Similarly, detrimental alleles may be swiftly eliminated from a gene pool, the sum of all the alleles in a population. Genetic drift in a population can lead to the elimination of an allele from a population by chance. In each generation, a random set of individuals reproduces to produce the next generation. The frequency of alleles in the next generation is equal to the frequency of alleles among the individuals reproducing. That is a quick summary on variation for the exam. Make sure to go over the learning objectives in past papers when you're done with this video. Thank you. Next video is on enzymes.